Madeline, it's recommended for all families to have an escape plan in case of a house fire. In honor of National Pet Fire Safety Day, the Kennewick Fire Department wants to encourage you to include your pet when you are planning for your escape. Getting back to the table is not easy for any restaurant owner, especially if you're opening up a new location. Regardless, here's a new cafe that you can add to your breakfast options. Madeline, the pandemic has not made it any easier for any salon to move during quarantine, but the one salon has has made it possible. The owner of the salon wants to bring the customers back in, all while keeping the coronavirus out. This was a huge leap of faith for us to move to a new building during all of this. And I have to say the community was amazing in helping us. Studio One Salon is primarily a hair salon, but they do lash extensions as well. Owner Kathy Nunez says they decided to move locations because they were ready for a change. I think it's going to be the same brand, the same product. We're just happy to start fresh. Um, and of course, it's super sanitary and clean. The only thing that's different is the new safety guidelines. But we're just the same Studio One, just bringing a new level of elevation. Kathy says stylists and clients must wash their hands as soon as they come in. She says face coverings are also required. We're working at at least every other station to keep that six feet of distance. Studio One has been in business for 14 years. The salon had to shut down due to COVID-19, but has been back open since phase 1.5. Honestly, I think everyone's just super excited to be here. We'll do whatever we have to do, follow whatever rules we have to follow just to be working. Kathy says the customers feel the same way. She says people are excited to be back and feel somewhat normal. We pride ourselves in offering the best of the best, um, top-notch services. We're all highly trained. We just want to bring you guys the very best and also be known as a super friendly salon. If you would like to check out the new location for Studio One Salon, you can head to our website at NBCRightNow.com for more information. In Kennewick, Alexandra Rios, Wake Up Northwest. Madeline, even though it is National Kitten Day today, the director of the Tri-Cities Animal Shelter says kitten season actually started a couple months ago. So just know that we will always be trickling in kittens. Um, and yeah, please come and adopt these cute little guys. When COVID-19 hit, more people had time to foster or adopt animals to keep them company in quarantine. Compared to last year, Debbie says they've seen an increase in adoption numbers. Our adoption numbers are, 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 are quite good. As pet adoptions increase, Debbie says pet owners should take precautions to keep their pets safe and secure. When you adopt a pet, especially right now, Debbie says you have to consider your current situation. You know, a loss of job or um, a divorce or just all those things. Just put, always know that, you know, what, how are you to care for your animal? How are you to care for your pet? Debbie recommends having extra money aside for vet care. She says you need to be smart as temperatures continue to climb this summer. If you have a dog that spends a lot of time outside, let's say when you're at work, do they have the proper shelter? Also, make sure your pet has fresh water in the bowl. Bringing home a kitten or a, a, a cat or a puppy or dog, it's a huge responsibility and, and they they, they need us to really care for them and look out to them and treat them like a family member. If you don't adopt from a shelter or rescue and decide to get a new pet from a friend, Debbie says spay and neutering is extremely important. Make that investment as well. It's good for their health, it's good for their behavior, and then it's good for, you know, not creating more puppies and kittens. Not only is spaying and neutering vital, Debbie says it also keeps the stray population down. You know, getting our animals vaccinated, microchips, so really making it um, it's just a smart move for people to to ad adopt from shelters or rescues because the, the, the cats are ready to go home. Adoptions have changed a little bit here at this shelter during COVID-19. They are now asking people to call in in advance to book an appointment. If you would like to adopt a cat on National Kitten Day, you can check out our website at NBC right now for more information. In Pasco, Alexandra Rios, Wake Up Northwest.